Hmm. Yes, that looks right. Why, hello, Linhart. It is not often I find you drawing outside. I'm not drawing. I'm simply trying to capture this wyvern's form. See? It's resting on that hill over there. Ah, an extraordinary sight indeed. Now then, let us see what you have done so far. I must say, it feels as though something is lacking in your work. Uh, how can I describe it? Your depiction is almost too accurate. Uh, take these scales, for example. Why, they could have been plucked from the very wyvern itself. I told you this isn't art. I'm doing it for my research. And when conducting research, it's always best to have precise references. The same is true when dealing with numbers or gathering information. I see. So you value accuracy above all else. Right. Honestly, I've never quite understood art anyway. So I'm perfectly content leaving that sort of thing to the true creatives. You know, the quirky ones. People like Bernadetta. Even so, there may come a day when your work is seen as the craft of a master artisan, when such precision is lauded as the height of aesthetic genius. What makes you say that? Oh, merely a passing thought. Perhaps in the distant future, Connoisseurs will value accuracy and attention to detail over the magnificent interpretive pieces we hold dear today. Do you really think that'll happen, though? I doubt people will ever stop appreciating the ancient classics. You certainly have always done so. Yes, there is no denying that. But I fear my own personal inclinations hold little sway over public opinion. Nobody knows what trends may arise in the decades and centuries to come. So I can indeed envision a future in which accurate depictions are praised just the same as the greats of old. And I encourage you to do the same, my friend. I don't get it. How are you so optimistic all the time? It's like you're constantly looking toward the future. I could say quite the same about you. I have always believed you to be rather forward-thinking. That's not optimism, though. All I'm thinking forward to is the time when I can just sleep the days away. That's why I'm forcing myself to be as active as I can now. Regrettably, those halcyon days of slumber are still but a distant dream. I have much work for you, both now and further down the road. To begin with, might I ask you to paint my portrait? For the last time, I'm a researcher, not an artist. Are you sure you want such a faithful depiction? That is exactly what I want. How else would my yet unborn descendants know the true visage of the great Ferdinand von Eyre? Indeed, I would be proud to submit myself as a subject of your research. Consider it a study in the personification of nobility itself. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm fine drawing you, but I don't have the slightest modicum of interest in actually researching you. Though, I do sometimes wonder where you get all that unabashed confidence from.